I am now going to show you a few more icons within your workforce portal. Once you have completed your application, you'll notice now that there is an icon in the bottom left corner that says Application. If you click on that, you'll notice that it brings up a PDF in resume format that shows you everything that you filled out within your application. Now, once that's complete, you'll notice that there are three icons at the bottom that I'm going to show you first. The first one is the skills icon. So in order to complete the hiring process, you'll have to complete one skills checklist and two tests. So I clicked on the skills icon and you'll notice here there's a certified nursing assistant test, a skills checklist. And this depends on what certification you are. So if you're an LPN, RN, or STNA, you're going to see whatever skills checklist relates to that certification. And once you just click begin, and once you complete that skills checklist, this red one will turn green. And then this one that's up in the right hand corner of this icon will disappear. And then you'll move on to your tests. Click on that icon and you'll notice that there's two tests. Now since I have my certification set to STNA, you're going to see a certified nursing assistant test. And this will depend on what your certification is. It'll say LPN or RN or STNA, etc. And everybody has to take the na national patient safety goals for whatever certification that they are. And once you have completed these two tests, you'll notice that this two will turn green. And then the icon down here, the documents icon, if you click on that, there are seven, there are um, seven different forms here that you will need to complete in order to complete the hiring process for Alto. There's the insurance application waiver. You'll just click on each one of these forms and fill out the mandatory fields that it asks for. So you got the employee handbook, you got payroll paperwork. I'm going to mention the payroll paperwork because that's a very important one. I would definitely take your time and really read the instructions when you go through that, just so you don't have to repeat it if there's a mistake made. Even though if there is a mistake made, you can absolutely do it again. You would just have to get a hold of your compliance coordinator. And you'll see the authority to release, and here's your job description, and then here's your direct deposit, which you have to have in order to be paid through Alto. And then once you're done with all these forms, you'll notice that this seven will turn green and it'll come over here to completed. And then you can always come here and view all those completed documents anytime you want. Now this very important part of the workforce portal is called the library, which is in the documents icon. Here is where you'll see quite a few PDFs and I will be adding more as time goes Here's important things that have to do with Alto. You'll see our perks, important policies and procedures, and here's the Heartland Guide, and this is how you'll have to read the instructions on how to access your pay stubs. And you'll see a blank physical statement of good health form if you need one. There's a blank timesheet, and there's a little um, instructional guide on how to upload timesheets. Now, I will be adding more things to this, so it would be great to occasionally um, come to this library to see if there's anything newly added. Now, I'm going to go back to the home screen, and the last icon I want to show you in this video is the credentials icon. So, the credentials icon is, so what you're going to see first is this first field called licenses. You're going to notice here to add a state license. Now, since I'm an STNA, there's an STNA here, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like. So if you drop down, you're going to see an STNA here because that's what certification I have chosen for my dummy account. But it might say LPN, it might say RN, or whatever certification you are. So then you would, because um, it's there's an asterisk, so you would have to choose, it's mandatory to choose that. And then whatever state that you got your credential in, I'm going to choose Ohio, and then your expiration date, you click on this little calendar, and I'm just going to choose tomorrow just because this is just a dummy video, and then your license number, I'm just going to create a fake license number, and then you would take a picture of your certification or STNA card, 
and you would take a picture of it with your phone and click browse and you can upload that image and then you would save the credential and then it's going to show up and it's going to say on my screen you cannot insert a duplicate credential because I already created it and you can always go in and edit that credential and change it when necessary if you want to change the expiration date when you get your new card and then save it again and then it says professional license updated now down here this is important this is the certifications so right now you'll see that I um, showed how to upload a TB one step and a driver's license but what you have to do here is add certification and where this asterisk is next to certification you'll notice select a credential now you'll notice here that these are all the things that you can upload in, into the workforce portal. So we have everything from your CNA, STNA certification, your driver's license, your social security card. Um, if you have vaccination information or you've had a flu shot or even a TB one step and even CPR. So I'll choose BCLS CPR. You choose that. You choose the date that it expires. Um, there might not be a number for your CPR, but yet there might be as well. And then you take a picture with your phone, browse, upload the image, save credential. And then you'll notice if you click on this field that now here's your BCLS. And you can always go into this and edit it when you get a new CPR, when you get it renewed and put a new expiration date. And this is how you can keep your credentials updated. And you can continue to do that one by one until you have everything that you have uploaded. And this goes straight into our system for our compliance coordinators to check off on. Thank you for watching this video.